that's scared are the oppressors. The only people who could have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. On the way to the dawn they like, we gon' rid them all, so gon' pass the kite. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. Three pound pressure, no weight lesser. Drop the oppressor, need no surrender. Such a, um, and when I say this world, I mean it. I don't mean in an ideal sense. I mean in the, uh, every day, every little thing you do. It's such a, gimme, gimme, gimme. Everybody back off. You know, everybody's like, you taught that from school, everywhere. Big business. You want to be successful? You want to be like Trump? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Push, 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 push. Step, step, step. Crush, crush, crush. That's how it all is. And it's like, nobody ever stopped. <laughs> Creates the spark, weighs the heart that's I sun ray my art her make the case we are. Most social media saviors are fixed. Marks once we make knowledge one is when time and space rock. The great mace we are, whether it's day or dark, creates the spark, weighs the heart as I sun ray my art her make the patriarch. Most social media saviors are fixed. Marks once we make knowledge more is when the run and face drop. I rose up, took a shower, purified my arc field, took copper for a wall to ensure my chlorophyll is pumping. Done some curls for sure, I've more to build. Solid foundation, my crown chakra for a hill, pound the pavement, sacred ground, freedom I stand for. Free all political prisoners of war, man or woman and chap, rid the land of all foreign and alien entities. I did creep this morning, send them back to whence they came, is the peace laugh or war cry, whatever the relevant name of East Mavish, your own highest form, spiritual realities, how you teach math, a humble beast, it's still a beast, now feel the beast, rap, brain, fire, puns, and the internet forms, Sigils, OG, and the times that cause them, destroy this defacto gun, for this cordial, extend 
Just for a little bit. You wanna go? You wanna go outside with me, man? You ain't gonna trick, you ain't gonna. Yeah, that's it. Fucking instinct. You never kill no bird. Catch no bird, dude. I know you won't kill them, but still. It's hot, right? Yeah, it there you go, Lola. There you go, There you go. With chips and they cash plus rappers sacrifice at each other for crisps and they cash sack yeah. Watch videos with the subliminals, predictive programming weirdo Trump menstrual shows, the land's contaminated fruits and vegetables, black minerals, the water, and skies are fried. New age chemicals, technology got me here in front of my desktop for rules these beasts and whatnot for my best option, contemplating. Which bar will they spot to unlock the minds that are stuck with it? A uh, Xbox off the chart. I continue to climb, watching the rest flop. Like carp fishing, 100 percent fresh short water. I'm on the front line. X marks the spot. I shot because of her. Oh. For she's the best or the great. Make she up whether it's day or dark. Create this spark. Wait, the heart is I sun ray. My art her make the patriarch. Most social media saviors I face marks. Once we make knowledge, what is when time and space rock the great matriarch, art, whether it's day or dark, creation is spark. Wait, the heart as I sun ray my art, her make the patriarch. No Hope social media, shame here's my face. Marks, once we make knowledge, what is when the right and base trucks. All praises to the most high. No. All praises to the great matriarch. Honor and respect to our ancestors. Draw. You've always had a father. The off of your flow. For your fire starter. The cause of your glow. But the trail I blaze, I pray you turn from it. The hell I've raised, I pray you don't burn from it. The work I put in, I pray that you earn from it. The mistakes I've made, I pray that you what about learn on? from it. You my splitting image, little darker, little taller. I'm a shot caller, though you just a little baller. Little chief, I'm still teaching you like he got yang. My he ain't reaching you despite me. Lock and chain, black hills be dead true. You ignite lots of pain. I feel the releasing of lightning and drops of rain. From the sound cloud, you shine like me, the crown's proud. But unlike me, shine, you haven't turned down loud. A smoke screen. Which surrounds you, shrouds your sound. Life shall allow your genius to us down the crown. You my beloved. You said to make perfume. Mm. You my beloved. You resent fate foolishly. You my beloved. Do ventilate truthfully. You my beloved. Son, and who I'm well mm. pleased. Okay, shall we? Your vision is. Resplendent, that my descendant when through me your intuition extends the lizard's felt when your cinematographic flashes of your scripted class get your inner magic dramatic action mixed with physics aspects master surpasses the average class stretches the fast through the scope of life's Kodak you see classic the question you have is mathematics please ask it son earth's a classroom so put your hand up at last, boom, you already knew the answer. I pray to God to give me another chance for the love of my life. My wife, just a romance. Nope. In the misconception, no time. What second guess it is that say you knew who was who through a reflection that she showed you of me many years ago. Special features presentation appears to show you my beloved. You said to lay perfume, you my beloved. You resent fate foolishly, you my beloved. Do ventilate truthfully, you my beloved son, and who I'm well pleased. Now, Samuel, I am you. 
am for show that the signal is a scramble or be programmable from a look up to a lion out of my bloodline don't give a damn don't love you as if you was mine i'll be the first damn. forgive me for my absence the most i sat me down to learn patience through abstinence amongst other lessons perfect my craft and talents balance of our legacy in the black hawks talents face adversity Overcome all challenges, generational wealth for the next generation to us. Can't make the same mistakes of past to sustain. Let's create an after we grind, we lavish this type of atmosphere. Redirect that fire, recalibrate the energy to propel us higher. As sovereign, opulent, a top of this species. I look at all three of my sons. Oh God, I see you, you my beloved. You sent to make profuse, you my beloved. You resent fate foolishly, you my beloved. You ventilate truthfully, you my beloved. Son, simple, I'm well pleased. That's the sense, right? <laughs> I gotta get seven grams over here, man. I can't get this music over here. Seven grams, man. Got them on Spotify. From a city of cons and accord, I said cons and accord, not cons and an accord. You better grab your sword if you're dealing with these devils. They seek to destroy God's sheep on every level. There's a plan out there to destroy you. Got you jumping into traps like your boy do. And on the surface, it seems like they ignore you. And type me, got you giving up head like my poor do. What the you hell? see young blood, you got a chance to change the system. But you're dealing with these devils and you know to kiss them. You give them props when you used to diss them. Don't let the CD stop, dude. I'm about to drop wisdom. Hey. Don't you see they fill the jails and prisons yeah. and everything is fake and full of division. Yeah. So take yeah. heed yeah. of the yeah. system. Yeah. It's much yeah. darker than the catechism. The devil yeah. has yeah. souls yeah. like God and you are chilling with them. And they're yeah. killing your friends in pursuit of the ends. And in the end, home boy, yeah. they got you living in sin. But the truth delivered to you is delivered. Nah, man. Saying, yo, that's what's up, but you can't get Kool-Aid from a soda cup. 
and that's the attitude. Yo, they blow the up, it is clear if I get this, they don't know what's up. Yo, these lost cats keep saying, yo, that's what's up, but you can't get Kool-Aid from a soda cup, and that's the attitude. Yo, they blow the up, and it's clear in five minutes, they don't know what's up. Right, right, all right, all right, yeah, uh, magic production, city of cons, you listening to it on WMAX, yes. It's the MVP and it's really rocking again for all of those lost sheep out there. We got a definite message. Let me get a call in on this line. Yeah, what's, what's good? What's good? What's good? Hey, yo, what's up, man? My name is Ray Sean, yo. I was going to play uh, Seven Grams. I got a lot of music, but it's on Spotify. I'm not updating the plan, bro. Bring it over to SoundCloud. I know you make it some fun. You can still stream over there. I'm not, because they trying to rob a brother, man, so I'm not tolerating that, man. I've had Spotify since its inception, and they just made some changes, and I ain't messing with it no more, man. <laughs> Seven Graham, his old lady's wife, got some music, y'all. Y'all heard some before, man. I try, I, I attempt to download it and get it over to SoundCloud. It don't want to go, man. Give you a lot of playtime, man. I got, I got a couple other guys, they're doing this now because they was on Spotify too. I hit them up and says, yo, man, SoundCloud, bro. Like, get it strained. Tell people hit the heart, you know, not how to use SoundCloud. And that's how you, and, and people will see it and they build platforms and have the music. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. I like on everything that I play. You feel me? Well, a lot of people don't know how to do that, man. You know, SoundCloud, it helps people, man. It does. You feel me? And share it. Now most of this is like from 2015. I know he got new stuff, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the guys got all the music they planned that really, you know, a couple of people you know I've been dealing with who are got labels. But they have music. They shared to me. I haven't even played all that, man. I just, I want y'all to listen to the words, man. Are you there? Speak up. Come on, call it. You there? Yes, I like that shit. Okay, we feeling it too. What, what this right here should be on the radio station for real, bro. If I go back, look, man. If I was to go back to the 90s while I was in the military, I had like two guys I could have managed, right? And because, you know, background and who I knew, and they wouldn't be worried about no Diddy and all that nonsense. And you know what I'm saying? It'd have been tight, a family thing. Now, some of them would have came, and I'd have sent some goons, like military goons. Nah, nigga, you stay with them fake ass goons. You stay in your, stay in your lane. Right? And trust me, it'd have been good. It could be like that now. West Side and me and a few others, man. You know, renting, the, you know, getting the places and the spaces and, and, and putting you and, you know, getting you over at, even in, in Tuba City, where T.I., all kind of people came over there and played during the carnivals and before the carnivals, packed in. Oh, yeah, I've been right there. T.I. come over, but I'm like, yeah, 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 punk nigga. But anyway, I'm just saying, yeah, man. Nelly? Oh, man, when Nelly was there, some of us brothers who live on the reservation were corn stomping. In this circle, and we had the now and the, and the Apaches, well, the New Age Apaches, and my Hopi stayed right beside us because they was darkening us, and we were showing them how to corn stop, right? Because they, the word was about how to go corn. So now I was like, "Yo," I was like, "Yo, Twin City Breakdance," and he was like, "They're going New York." He was like, "You know, doing his thing," and I was like, "All right, this is cool," but I was I downplayed it because it wasn't that big of a deal. But after that, I think that's what made her jealous because. Like, every time I went to the store, I was selling sandwiches or whatever, right? Riding horses, all the girls was all, all little. And we're talking about some cute little Navajo biddies, right? Like, like was all with it, rapping, got blue handkerchiefs and red handkerchiefs. I'm talking about Bloods and Crips. For real. Even some of them damn um, Latin King. <laughs> Shit was crazy. And they ain't Latin. Well, they weren't the same kind of. It was crazy, man. So, yeah, get that music over to me on um, SoundCloud, man. But keep it on Spotify because as long as people know and I'll I'll mention it. You know what I mean? Him and his wife, man, they got some bangers. They got some bangers. And whoever else is singing before, they bangers, yo. We're gonna go ahead and get in the reading. No one this first say thanks to um somebody donated. I was stretched out. 
Marcus Williams and Devin. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, beloved. So it's sitting there. I already ordered two more books, so one's a cult length. It's different. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. It's different. Um, maybe y'all might want to order it. Let me see if I can pull it up. I have to pull it up on there. I think I screenshot my order. Uh, maybe I can just create a post, really. Uh, let me see if I can uh, go to history right quick, and then we'll read. Uh, rifle weapon light with remote pressure switch. What the hell? Okay. Let me see Oh, I saw something funny, y'all. Anyway, I might show y'all then. Let me see. Um, sap pills. Woodland sap pills. What is it? I'm, I'm in. I'm in history, y'all. So just hold on for a second. I told y'all. Y'all know I have the book Facts of Facts. I'm advising y'all to get the PDF, download it, and read it. Okay, read it. All right. Stop doing yourself a disturb a disservice. Okay. I don't know why it's not over here. It's on my phone. Even though I use different platforms to do searches and stuff. Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, you get the chance. I, I can't find it. I'll have to go on the phone here and just pull it up. But uh, yeah. Go ahead and download Facts of Facts. Okay. And uh, read it, please. Related uh, uh, storage. Mm -hmm. David Lester. Uh, affidavit of truth. Uh, no, no, no. We don't want to mix an exposition. I don't know. We don't want to mention that. That was the. That was before I got the book. A lot of these. A lot of these PDFs that I'm looking at. Um, a lot of these books I bought. Someone here. I'm not gonna read because they're uh, a little dark. If you, you get what I'm saying. So Aborigines is a very good one too. You can go ahead and get the PDF on Aborigines. They don't talk about nobody else other than us. As far as the, the Americas, which is in my files. But go ahead and go ahead and download the Facts of Facts PDF, okay? It's nothing complicated. Um, I have it in my, in my files. I wanna show you right quick. I actually saved it, I believe. Louis Agassi's America, the Old World. For those who have a hard time, this is not facts of facts. Um, you tell them if they have a hard time reading and they don't want to pull that up, all right. Tell them, tell them to go ahead. Uh, don't, don't. You know, I'm still seeing, um, especially women, man, and that 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 really saddens me when some of these women are married, and not all, and they're just so hung on themselves. And I'm sitting there saying, Jesus Christmas, stop debating as if it's a good thing. Stop that, you know that. That small-minded thing, like we need our sisters strong and we need them powerful. So that way we can be strong. We have a reason. Right now, a lot of men don't have the right reason to be strong. You know what I mean? So, okay, it's right here. Okay, I had to scroll down, but go ahead, pull it up, and read it. Actually, read it. Y'all know I already got the book. Just go ahead and read it. If you don't want to do it, read that in 13 Colonies. The other book, read these first, okay? That's why I, I on here, because they were trying to demonetize me. They're fake Jews. 87 are converts. I'm racist. And you know what the, the other 13% is? Well, 5% are the ones who guide, who work for the Zionists, the Gujars. Okay? All right, and so who's the other seven? Those are those wayward mixed now Negroes, where the Ethiopian and a handful of other people. There's even some Japanese and Chinese cats who went there to Jews. They don't look the same. They kind of, you know, been in America a long time. You got to You got to You come on, man. There are not, and some some of them have the ancient bloodline of us. But they hate us. You need to know these things. They don't even know who they are. All right? So, 
read the books, man. Let's go ahead and get into um hey Lord T Hans Marcus, what's going on, beloved? Max V, what's cracking? What's cracking? Delusions. What's cracking? What's good, y'all? Just snoo. That's my love. Oh, it's a lot. What's cracking? Uh, you get yours get played last, man. So we can say three pounds of pressure. And that ain't three pounds of pressure. That's like a pound. You know I do that extensive work. <laughs> all right, so let's get into it. The Negro Project. This is by Bruce Flaherty. All right. A Margaret Sanger's diabolical, duplicitous, dangerous, disastrous, and deadly plan for autochthonous Americans. Negros, necromancer. I know, but that's their ploy. Okay. Now remember, it's forward by Ron Edwards. Let's go ahead and dig in it. There's the, there's the, whatever the, you know what I'm saying. There's the beast. They betrayed all of, all of the world. They betrayed the world, man. How did y'all like the one video to which I alluded to the fact that the war and, and somebody shared that with me and see, I know I've talked about this stuff for a long time, over three decades, that the Civil War wasn't what you think it was. There was no revolutionary war. They've been fighting us and fighting us nonstop, bringing people and you can wear people down if you keep bringing people, but logistically they couldn't beat us. How many tribes, the Chickasaw, the Seminole, the Yamasee, how many of the people they couldn't beat y'all? And then everybody believes because Martin Luther King did that shit that we all become citizens. That nigga couldn't make us citizens. I'm not a citizen now. And these motherfuckers still got the nerve with their fake ass government to go reaching out to goofy bitches and this, that, and we need you to do this and directing little, little, little radiation weapons and all that other shit. That's why I turn shit off. But see, they're too stupid. They'll sit here and watch, but they're too stupid. Cause they don't want to pay attention. You know that bloodlust. Some people say it's other than that. Let me tell you something. There's some of us know more than them. So what they're messing with and what this, that, and the other, you don't have to need because a lot of y'all would sit up and curl up in a ball and hide. No, seriously. Forget all that alien and space. I, listen, man. There's a lot of space. Okay? Out of space. You, you, right now, I'm, I'm, I gotta, there's a whole lot of out of space between me and where you live on the so-called fictional East Coast. All right? So be mindful of that, okay? We're supposed to be able to see each other and say, what's going on, God? And not be in some fake-ass 5% of religious bullshit, messing with numbers and things and mantras we don't know how to control, nor should we be fucking tampering with. You should be tampering with, okay? Why do you think your, your malnutrition, carbon acids are in the position you in now? You're still feeding them energy. You don't have. I don't want you to believe shit I'm saying. I want you to research it. And our pale skin brothers are the same. Because you got to remember, they were lynched and murdered right beside us. So our Spanish brothers, even the ones who wanted to fight back. There were people who were Mongolian. Thank you, Orlando Kane. There were people who were Mongolian who didn't like what was going on. You see how they killed the president of Chicago, right? Who fought against it. And they fought beside us. They had to get rid of them however they could. And then what they do, they use their own people. That ain't enough to get your asses moving. I don't know what is. You know? Anyway, let's go ahead and get in the reading. It is pretty hot now. I turned on the fan. Oh, the fan going over there at his ass. Hell no, I need to come to me. This is about 80. Shit. I like the cold. Now, I can't say why, but I just like the cold. You feel me? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Excuse me. Yes, and everything on my chest. All right, let's get into it. Let's hope I'm entertaining. It's entertaining reading. I haven't done nothing with my hair, so it's poofing up, y'all. <laughs> I was, I'm just too happy that that damn cap. No cap. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Yeah, is the fan too loud? Yeah, it's like being in a barbershop. You're good. <clears throat> if y'all remember last time, we were talking about the final solution to the Jewish question. Remember that? 
We were talking about Nuremberg laws, Reinhardt Heiklitz, Archet, the the reach the reach office of race and resettlement. And you gotta remember the education system here, right? Before it was really pushed forward in the sixties, though we still had the halls of science and, and math and all those different things, they took eighty to eighty seven of those summer bitches who came here to work with Von, one of Von Brown, all eighty seven of them from over there killing any and everybody they weren't killing no fucking Jews. They were killing the people who were dissidents who didn't want no part of what's going on. And they put them in the education systems. And they and right off the back, they conspired with cultism. They were right in the land where they needed to be at where all the shit is. Digging up everything under fake pseudonyms. Alright? Remember that. Matter of fact, let me see if I pull this one motherfucker up. Where is he at? I didn't order that. I didn't order that. All right. Uh, this nigga, um, Samuel Adolphus Courtright. Hey, no, we're going to get in the reading. This is one. Circle the wagon. Samuel Adolphus Courtright. Dr. Samuel Adolphus Courtright of Natchez was the most prominent physician, surgeon, and medical scientist in antebellum Mississippi. But what was he known for? Well, the inventor of the mental illness, and he is a fucking Jew. They say he, he, they said he was in a song, in a script, and then they turn around and said he isn't. So this is what I'm talking about, how they think a Gujarat can hijack identities, and they put people in certain positions, give them a fake name, because you gotta got to think about Samuel Adolphus. Then all of a sudden you get Cartwright. It's one of our surnames, all right? The inventor of the mental illness, all right? First of all, you need to know that he was born... November 1793 and passed away in 1863. 1863. Inventor of the mental illness called or of drapetone, drapetomony. Drap, I forget, I think one word is silent. Is drapetomania. Drapetomania. It's a made up crack. The desire of a slave for, for freedom. The desire of a slave for freedom and an outspoken opponent of germ theory. He created that narrative. All right? And in Louisiana. And this was part of revamping and taking the prisoners of war and creating a new narrative for the new world order to which they would take from that and accentuate, because he was part of that, and utilize it And after 18, when they, because they knew they were going to have the Civil War, the fake Civil War. It was already war ongoing at the time. And we were slide, hiding in the woods and under mounds and everything. That's why they were digging up the mounds and all that. And underground as well. That's why they were blowing up many of the underground tunnels. I'm telling you something that's a fact. All right? And that's why they started giving these motherfuckers lots to move all of our land. All right? Putting posts down. And the punch bowl, all that stuff, where people were being experimented on, cut up, and everything else. Babies were looked at as a throwaway, a waste, because they wanted to rape these women and make a new race. By the narrative of Boaz, Franz, but all those individuals, all right? After 18, 6, 1865. Okay? And further murder of our people. It's in their blood. They didn't block that from. That's why you got all these so called Spanish running around, white so-called white Spanish motherfuckers that don't look nothing like our Mexican brothers or our Mongolian brothers. I told you I got a good friend in Mongolia named Jin Shi. Very good friend. Love him to death. I had to put on a funky little clothes and over my sweats and wrestle and get all muddy and dirty with these things that was big as mountains. I have a story to tell. But yeah, Drake told me Drake told me Drake told me um, it describes a psychological disorder that caused the phenomenon of enslaved blacks that's defamation to run away from bondage before the Civil War bullshit he spent enormous energy to research, diagnose, and suggest corrective treatments to mitigate the deviant tendency of blacks to escape he wasn't using medication, it's a lie they were tired of war, they wanted peace the story, I cry freedom, I cry peace that means they didn't want nobody here. And they, what they do when they make a slave narrative out of it. This is what these fake Jews do. And they do it now. 
But now they're open because they, they believe the Messiah is here and then this, that, and the other. It's a motherfucker that means you using your chambers and everything else to live long and subjugate you and tell them how to go about fucking you up. I don't want you to believe shit. I want you to dig deeper. It's more to it than you can imagine. Anyway, let's go ahead. Anyway, you, you heard what I'm saying as far as believe that American eugenicists got their ideas from the Germans. Remember that? So let's pick it up from there. Excuse my language, because I know that's offensive to some people. It's not. It's regular conversation. I've been around the greatest minds, supposedly, and attorneys and judges. Everybody talks mad madness. And I do put that is not for youngins. It's for adults. All right? And besides, with some of the ads I've seen, <sighs> periods, body augmentation. No, oh, I've been looking at some of these selling you things you don't need uh anyway that however is a huge mistake you see where it went that quick that however is a huge mistake sadly the concept of eugenics as a legitimate scientific discipline that was taught for over a hundred years in classrooms all across america and the world actually originated in england and was inspired by the beliefs of the British biological determinist, Sir Francis Galton. Galton was a first cousin of Charles Darwin. Oh, it gets meaty, doesn't it? Who wrote the evolutionist work, The Origin of Species, in 1859. Hmm, 1859. Galton had spent much of his time studying the upper classes of British society and came to conclude that their success in life was due to the notion that their genetic makeup was superior. No, they murdered the original people there and set upon sacking all the towns of melanated, true, original Algonquin and a few other tribes of people that were there to establish Europe. Try me. I would like to see somebody come and come on a podcast and give me all their little fake world narratives and debate me. I'm just speaking from this book, but I know a whole lot more. I don't know nothing. <laughs> Anywho, <clears throat> to that of other members of the social strata of England. Now, Galton coined the term eugenics by combining the Greek prefix you, good, you, you, good, or well, with the suffix genes, which means born. In 1883, he defined the new word as the science which deals with all influences that improve, excuse me, the inborn, the inborn qualities of a race, the inborn qualities of a race. Also, with those that develop them to the utmost advantage. Now you need to know if we've been along alive all this time, what the hell was his purpose? Why was he doing this? Because they sacked upon the truth of history and they wanted to eradicate and destroy it. This is something that Theodore Albert Herzl's Arab ass could not make wind of. He just had to create Zionism, be the front and the push for it, non religious, dealing with the theosophies and theosophical societies that would soon sprout up that did. And those will be tools for the, the darkness, the Janah. Anyway, Galton then compiled his observations in a book titled Inquiries into Human Faculty and Its Development, which he published that same year. It sounds like motherfuckers that ain't from here, don't it? Who in the world would need or have to do that? Well, if you want people to believe in a greater white supremacy to which doesn't exist, or it, it exists in ignorant af mofos minds and heads, but why is it that people can't see beyond the scope that you have been sectioned off to this particular mound of dirt when the earth is so much more immense? As was mentioned earlier in these pages, is it... And do you think you want somebody, you think they want somebody who's going to be all fight against the system? No, they're going to want the perverts who will do anything, harm children, this, that, and the other. 
they can go out and see the outside because they can condition them and the youth they mitigate to be the security and protectors of their new world as long as they've convinced them of such and they don't think for themselves. As was mentioned earlier in these pages, his, his theories that the human race, human race, could remake itself through scientific means found an enthusiastic following among many prominent Britons such as H.G. Wells, that big fat pig, George Bernard Shaw, yes, Bernard Shaw, the, uh -huh, George Bernard Shaw, and John Maynard Keynes. But the list didn't stop there. Other adherents to the theory of eugenics included J.B.S. Haldane, Mary Stokes, Julian Huxley, and future, future uh, not that Huxley, but yes, and future British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Although the field of eugenics originated in England, Gal Galton's theories found fertile ground in the United States, the corporation, not America, and were embraced by some very important and wealthy Americans, and they're not Americans, among them Stanley Webb, Jew, Presidents Theodore Roosevelt and Woodrow Wilson, Jews, Clarence J. Gamble, you already know who the fuck that is, and of course, Margaret Sanger, now they got her as an American born and please. They don't want to tell you her origins. Sanger. Sanger sewing machine. Uh, if that ain't fucking fake Jew, you tell me what is. Anyway, many of them bought into the idea of positive eugenics. For example, encouraging reproduction in the fit, fitter elements of society. So there's a, a pro and a con, right? while discouraging it in those perceived to be more unfit. Although, as we have seen in Sanger's case, the aspects of negative eugenics, uh, vis, 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 right? The black population became a prime mover. They're already saying dead population became a prime mover behind the implementation of her Negro project. I think that's more than enough information for the time being. What do you think? Just to give you a little tie way into the how comes and the whys and those who stood behind this arguous event of affairs. And then you see all these dumbass Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans, m niggas in New York, Florida, everywhere, California, all these little dumb niggas. That's what I'm saying. Cuba, all them are niggas. All right, Puerto Rican niggas, Mexico niggas, all right? Hawaii niggas. Now they look all Asian now because of the Japanese and what they did and the Chinese and everybody. Conquered the land without even fighting the war and shit. Well, they went over there, though. The U.S., oh, they fucked up some people. Fiji Islands, same goddamn thing. And them motherfuckers stomping around all happy and shit. They got straight hair and motherfucking their fro was gone and their skin cone was gone and they whole fucking like a, uh, uh, you know, like, nigga, please. I don't say that with hate. I say that for wake the fuck up. Anywho, yeah, niggas. Just ready to keep dumping these and you see what they're doing with the stuff. They've been stealing the fake duck, been stealing your damn uterus, stealing the sack that belongs to the baby and then kept with the family because it can be used as magic. And what are they doing? They've doing, been doing the most perverse things. Ain't no telling to have these cows and pigs and animals that y'all eat don't already have human DNA in them. So they've been grooming you and fucking your system up, knowing exactly what they do because no man and woman is supposed to partake of flesh. I mean in my own opinion. But instead of us coming together, it's got to be, I mean, you know, they make the movies like Beehive and all that other shit. Or Will Smith walking around playing a violin to give you that little broke-back shit. But what about the real stuff? Stuff that really needs to keep our brothers and sisters together. No, they had to do black exploitation. They had to give you good times and they didn't want to do this and that and fake Jews all behind it. And what the first, no, my Uncle John Amos said no. So they had to kill him off the show. 
Sam and the Son, they like that because it was just clowning, looking like fools. You dig what I'm saying? And the, and the fake ass black dead ass church behind it all. I'm not saying this with no hate, no feelings or emotions. I'm speaking upon facts as a man. These things need to be looked upon. And then the effect it had on our light skinned brothers. Very fucked up. But some of that poison rubs off on them. And many of them shook it, but they shook it on dynamics of fake. Because you know, that's what they want to do. They want to condition. Right now, they're using our light skinned brothers for racism and everything else. The very same liberals who push racism are the very motherfuckers attacking the ra the so called motherfuckers that they created who they who are they part of because they put a bunch of racist ass black motherfuckers in the cabinet. Janine and all them fucking goofies. Lori Life, but that bitch out somewhere right now thinking everything is good, running around with her little Jewish girlfriend. It's not how it works. This is the disease of the people who will sell each other out. You got more CIA and ex FBI agents coming forward and saying, what the fuck? Because they've got their little monkeys in position. Motherfuckers fought a 20 year war. I was looking at this one young cop, right? Who broke this cat's ankle. Unnecessarily tackled him and all that shit. He had to pay out a lot of money. Them the motherfuckers I wish would run and charge me like that, blindside me. Them the niggas they didn't have to move into another state because I know how my people get down. They'd be like, what? See how we're revealing shit. No? I'm just I'm telling the truth. I don't believe in violence at all. But it doesn't mean that I won't act upon it. I'm talking about, yeah, I studied MMA, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Who gives a fuck? See, this is the problem. A lot of these people study this shit, and the first thing they do is they want to use it to harm people. That's not the police officer's position and nobody else's. Not the school teachers, but now the school teachers, them big fat motherfuckers, some of them need to know how the difference between a choke you to die and choke you to cut off in a couple of seconds your artic or arteries just to black you out. There's a difference. When you go to and you you cinch up on a person's and you crush their windpipe, right? And you have them right here and you pull them back, or you have them on here. And you're not bringing the closure on the neck just to black them out. Where they're, they're still alive, but you can go ahead and arrest them and everything else. Keep them from laying on their stomach. Worst thing you do is sleep on your stomach or sleep on your right side. It's not good for your upper thorax to breathe in. Breathe in. But these motherfuckers know that. Because that's what them fake-ass Jews have been doing to them Palestinians. And these fake-ass punk-ass cops have been doing over here. That's why I say it's important that y'all move more than one. And I'm talking about five or six. But y'all think it's a game. This is not against the police. Y'all know I know some good guys, man. And that's not being safe. You know where I stand. My buddy's about to move over here and he's going to join the force again. I can't wait. And we've got a few good guys over here, man. We've got some good guys. You know what I'm saying? Don't mess around, though. Sometimes I believe, I, I believe an ass what was deserved. Okay? I'm just saying. I, I Honestly, man, I've seen so many cats now these days. Sometimes some of y'all need to get punched in your nigga nut in your, and kicked in your ass a few times. I know it goes against the grip, right? Thou shall not kill is part of our text. That ain't part of their shit. That's what makes us the righteous fucking people. But now our little goofy little young niggas who need to get their head knocked in every once in a while. Why are they always getting taken in? But innocent motherfuckers ain't got a gun, get their arm broken, their wrist, their ankle, get shot up a hundred times. I ain't talking about the motherfuckers that will sit there. You know why a motherfucker in a car... This is this is this this is how eugenics this is all part of it. Sitting in the car and there's 20 cops with a gun drawn on this motherfucker. He got a gun, and I'm talking about somebody that can have one, not a felon. It's not illegal for a felon to own a goddamn firearm either. They've already proved that shit. But because the system is corrupt, because it's a plagiarism, because it's a lie, and because many other people run around not knowing shit. They run up wanting to execute one of our people. See these dumb motherfuckers. I hope they watch it. They just don't know what which this way come, what's waiting on them. And let me tell you, in that dark world, in the end story, there's no crying for mama or anything. This physical, it houses something. And when they broach upon that point, they won't be as fortunate as those who committed suicide. I wish they wouldn't do that. It's not the answer. I know I put the curse out and it, it jumped up. I forget the percentage. Because I'm tired of the evil. 
but they just go and get a, a bunch of more dumb asses and bring them on in because they don't all get to see okay there's an end to it all you just hope they would fucking listen but no it's not the case so let's go ahead we got behold a pale horse by mr william cooper here okay man they assassinated well the physical at least at least the man had god in his life as far as his narrative i don't know if he was aware that it was him um he was out to do the right thing missing one leg a vietnam vet and he sent a bunch of punks to murder him the very people i'm talking about now in the eyes of you to murder they didn't do nothing but free him and they will see him again stupid motherfuckers anyway let's go ahead and get section four section five and section six this is a little longer but not too long all right remember we're dealing with article eight the the judicial branch because right now you're not really dealing with none of this everything i'm reading here about you're not then not, these motherfuckers ain't following this not at all the constitution these motherfuckers are moot but because they have the media and a bunch of dumbasses and fake white power, I'm you got women out there telling me, I'm a porn I'm a porn star for Trump. What the f if you can't tell Reagan's shit's still in effect, that ain't with me. All right? So let's get in. What's up? Hey DJ, what's up, beloved? May you all be shrouded in light and divine. Yes, sir. That's right, beloved. That's right. DJ, you already know. Oh, <laughs> what that one is she? Sasage. All right. Jonathan Wetfield, what's going on, beloved? How do you, how, I shot y'all up. I just saw y'all just popped up, man. T. Hines, what's going on, beloved? I got you, Marcus. Indigo Turtle, I think I got you, right? Anyway, it's good to have y'all here. Let's go ahead and get this read in. <laughs> and I got to run out real quick while the sun's still out. All right, here we go. Section four. <clears throat> the principle justice. Unless the Senate objects to any, shall appoint a judicial counsel of five members to serve during his incumbency he shall incumbency right he shall designate a senior member who shall preside in his absence per se it shall be the duty of the council under the direction of the principal justice to study the courts in operation to prepare codes of ethics to be observed by members and to suggest changes in procedure now the council may ask the advice of the judicial assembly the council shall add the advice of the judicial assembly all right it shall also be a duty of the council as here and after provided to suggest constitutional amendments why the fuck would you have to suggest that or is the ones they're talking about when they appear to be necessary that's the ratification Radi radicalizing okay <clears throat> excuse me and it shall also draft revisions if they shall be required further it shall examine and from time to time cause to be revised civil and criminal codes these when approved by the judicial assembly shall be in effect throughout the nation do y'all get that you know when they pull you over are you you know and and and, and, and they said there well the procedures and you can't you have the right to travel but these motherfuckers don't know nothing about the constitution they haven't they're not don't give me they took an oath to the constitution my ass all right because the ones that do are the marshals and the sheriffs, not the deputized motherfuckers. They're supposed to know it, though. The problem, ergo, is no, you have a bunch of shit kicking. I went to war, motherfuckers, in per on purpose done. Okay? And you know who a lot of them have been trained by. You look at New Jersey with those thousands of motherfuckers up there and how they carried on. Like, look at Big Us, TRT, and steroid motherfuckers. And we hate niggas. They put us in the corner, and that's what we fucking deal with and spicks and blah, blah, blah. But it's spicks and all that up in there for the term. I hate the terminology, but it is. 
even some Arab American motherfuckers who, and you put them back over in Dubai and all them places, they still a little shit. You, you see what I'm saying? Remember Arthur Class's 13 tribe? I read to you. They knew about the environment and where the person, where the, the place where people was, but they know that you could become powerful here. So they had to corrupt the food, corrupt the water, corrupt the air, and they got to keep it going. That's why I'm telling you, motherfuckers don't understand. That's why you can't pay attention to time. You need to know where you stand. Anyway, let's carry on. Section five. The principal justice shall have a term of 11 years. But if at any time the incumbent resigns or be disabled from continuing in office, as may be determined by the Senate, okay, replacement shall be by the senior member of the Judicial Council until a new selection be made. Oh, whoa. After, mm, after six years, the Assembly may provide by a two-thirds vote by a two-thirds vote for discontinuance in office and a successor shall then be chosen now now it, we'll get there somewhere down but when the people say no more they must go they say it takes the act of congress bullshit the people the congress represents the fucking people if the people say this motherfucker need to go then why are they hold them here? That's why I say they're not oh, going by or buying by the con. They got these fake lawyers who can't speak on Constitution because you got judges right now with, and they're not judges, they're fiduciaries who people are paying to fucking sit up there and lock people up who are innocent and shouldn't be locked the fuck up. CRS is one. All right. You got the lead laws. It's Mexican. He's locked up. Because the bitch, the fiduciary, felt some kind of way. All because he called the cops boot, jack boot, thug, whatever, the pig, whatever the fuck, he don't like him. But for every good reason. And the bitch felt some kind of way because the motherfucker took his phone and, he's, and, 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 and rightfully so. He called the, he called the punk motherfucker because the fuckers, the bailiffs ain't supposed to touch no fucking thing or nobody. See, this is what I'm talking about. All these motherfuckers and the bitch is a fake Jew. The lead laws. Go and look at the court. Emotionally unstable. Don't mind motherfuckers talking about the kids and pedophiles and all that shit. They let them back out on the street. I don't have no nothing in me for these motherfuckers. I have family members who are judges, all right? Retired millionaires. Ooh, all right? The reason why I speak like this is because when I told them to let me be, I had nothing to say. Motherfuckers decided to go out the side of the pocket. So I will say what the fuck needs to be said, and they will abide, or whatever. Let's carry on. I'm doing the talking. So, may be determined by the Senate, and replacement shall be by the senior member of the Judicial Council until a new selection be made. After six years, the assembly may provide by a two-thirds vote for discontinuance in office, and a successor shall then be chosen. That's after the people have spoken. Section 6. The principal justice may suspend members of any court for incapacity or violation of rules, and the separation shall be final in a majority of the council, and a majority of the council must agree. For each court, the principal justice shall, from time to time, appoint a member who shall preside in the seat or in seat. Okay? I know it didn't seem like those were long, but they were long enough. We'll pick up a 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11, because it's short. All right? Pick that up tomorrow. For those who won't be at church, okay? It's funny. I can do one hand anything. I come to put the fucking lid on a goddamn pen. I'm, I'm sitting here like I can't tell the difference. What the fuck? <laughs> and my cat will get it. Let me stop being dumb like I'm all, all of a sudden something wrong with me and I play with chopsticks like it ain't nothing. Let me put this motherfucker on there. 
So it's pretty interesting, isn't it? It's pretty freaking interesting. And you would think that they would sit there and they would better themselves, but no. Some foul, foul shit going on. I mean, look at everything. Right now, you got all them some bitches, and I've got over 20 videos. I know it's more than that, saying you got to take the jab. Now these motherfuckers saying, we didn't tell anybody they had to take the jab. First of all, what the fuck make all you so-called citizens think you got to listen to these motherfuckers? Because they call the pandemic. That was just getting ready for everything else that's going on, you dumbasses. And you ran to keep a job. Imagine if none of y'all would have showed up from work, you dumb motherfuckers. If y'all would have been in union, that's why I can't trust everybody. Because you motherfuckers don't even know how to work together. They would have had to say, look, 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 it ain't working. But because we got a bunch of dumb motherfuckers out there, and now they all have, a quarter of them are gone and sick, up in the hospice, the goddamn cells, missing limbs, cancer, and all kind of shit. That's the next phase now, putting cancer in the fucking foods sparingly. But because we ain't growing our own shit and you love just going to shore, you can put a shopping cart and buy a whole bunch of garbage and you think you're going to go home and it's just fucking fine. You bringing the old, old, old me out. <laughs> you ain't bringing shit out. <laughs> Anyway, I hope y'all got something from that. Again, thanks for the donations. Um, you know what? Matter of fact, if I do decide, because there's a couple of books I was looking at, and I'm going to share them with you. So don't forget about Samuel Adolphus Cartwright. Okay, that's the motherfucker that made up that fake-ass term when there was no fucking crazy houses or nothing. They took our major buildings that we did wonderful work in, and they perverted them. These fake Jews and these fake-ass Pecklewoods are the ones that weren't here. Okay, remember that shit. Hold on. I want to shout everybody out. I appreciate y'all, man, making the donations. I really do. Yeah, I didn't say Orlando King. Oh, man. Appreciate you, beloved. Wow. Okay. Lamont Jr., appreciate you, beloved. Appreciate you. Yeah, you know what? Matter of fact, I got $200, $250 in my wallet. What I'll do is I'll go and deposit that. I get I deposit in a little thing in the machine. I'll go and deposit it in the bank while I'm out. And um, I'll go ahead and we'll order a few books tomorrow. I don't know. We ain't gonna spend all of it. So I'll just put... I'll go ahead and uh it's the kids. I'll make sure they are it anyway. But uh I'll go ahead and I don't know, we'll get some books about twenty dollars, maybe fourteen dollar piece books. You know, a lot of books I got there that we can get. And I'll just go ahead and say, hey, what would y'all like me to get? And we got to stay on reading. I know I'll be doing a lot of shit. Food poisoning yesterday. Hey, come on, you know. And I don't stop. I just keep going. Um, I'm just hoping. And, I'm, and I know they're sadistic and they want to see for themselves. You better believe when I leave, all hell is going to really break loose for those who like the term hell. I'm giving y'all chances and I, I've always keep my, my plans the same. But at any, at any moment, anything could change. Because I'm really tired of playing with them. Take it however the fuck, they can take it however the fuck they want. I've explained and expressed enough. Okay? Did it go off? I wanted to play this going out. I saw you over there as part of your ass. Yeah, you up in the window now, and you look like you want to talk some shit, cuh. What's up, cuh? He in the window, y'all. He was looking at the kid. I'm not playing. I'm in the window. Yeah. Y yeah, I know. I left it right down there. He doesn't walk. Nobody walks on it. <laughs> Ganja, like, left the pillow on the blanket right there. Anyway, let me turn this back on. Damn, pants coming off, man. Holy shit. Turn the light out. I'm gonna run outside. My boy got me some chicken wings. I don't know if I want to eat them. I'm gonna see them. I'm asking where they come from. If they came from China, I don't want another goddamn one. Not one motherfuckers. We went no. But here we go, cause we gotta get my little boy us a lot. I hope y'all enjoyed the read, man. Hey, DJ, what's up? The Quilla Creation. 
Mandela of the turtle's back. But you know, you know the importance of the the turtle's back, the frequency. Have you ever seen what the frequency look like with the back of the turtle? The frequency. You know what it's about, right? It's about healing Earth. Look into it. Mark Williams, appreciate it, beloved. Hey, Tia Tui, what's going on? Mom, what's going on, beloved? This is the sky in the dirt. And it's us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> respect. Like I said, I'm eternally bonded to y'all. You dig what I'm saying? Eternally bonded. Ooh, I'm gonna start DJing on this motherfucker white. And my music, and, and a lot of this music, it's only talking, it's only talking about the suppressed rising. I mean, the oppressed rising up against the oppressor. That's all. That's what my music's about. The oppressed rising up against the oppressor. So the only people that's scared are the oppressors. The only people who could have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. Over here, cripping this. Crip walk. Please stop. I'm not gonna get myself. No way, listen. Y'all saw the day when I was doing the little hill toe, hill toe. You know, I be. Come on, man. I, that's. You let the youngins, you know what I'm saying, rock it. Hey, Ganja. Hey, 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 Delusions. Tell them about that. Tell them about how that performed, man. Tell them how that thing performed, bro. Let them know how that thing. That's one of my later bills. I'm going to change the bolt out. Let them know. We bought, it only took, what, 60 rounds to break it in? Let them know, boy. Woo! That more right there. The losers, let them know. That boy, the runner, boy. We. Y'all missed it. And, and tell them about the M16 clone. So you better be ready to ride tonight. On the way to the down like we go. Hey, mouse, no pass the kite. Three pound pressure. No weight lesser. Drop the pressure. Meet no surrender. Three pound pressure. No weight lesser. Drop the pressure. Meet no surrender. Drop the and when I say this word, I mean it. I don't mean in an ideal sense. I mean in uh, every day, every little thing you do. It's such a gimme, gimme, gimme. Everybody back off. You know, everybody's like, if you taught that from school, everybody's yeah, big business. You want to be successful? You want to be like Trump? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Push, 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 push. Step, step, step. Crush, crush, crush. That's how it all is. And it's like, nobody ever stop. That's our brother, old slut. That's him dressed up, y'all. That's how we do it, y'all. That's how we do it, y'all. I call him Omega 12, god damn it. That's what I call you, old. I call you Omega 12, remember that. I call you Omega 12. I call you, old, so I call you Omega 12, no. That's your name. <laughs> Toby, your name ain't old slot. Your name is Omega 12, no. They won't stop until they stop. And with everything that they're doing and saying that's become normal for them, they believe, they believe, they think they know, but they believe that they're unstoppable. <clears throat> Hard ass make for a soft ass, especially when you don't know there's certain things you shouldn't fuck with. They learn that all the time because they don't mind sacrificing the dumb asses. All right? Look at the look at the look at the fake Jew. Space Force Colonel, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. 
and you're supposed to listen to that. I'm not being mean or anything. You know, I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't respect none of that shit. You know, when you know better, you do better, right? Well, I'm like I said, I'm always going to have a righteous whole, righteous existence, heart, existence, okay? But what is righteousness? Ponder it. Yo, it's strong, right? Damn right. Omega, Omega goddamn, Omega 12, powerful. Now, you know it's nothing, but I, I want to say I love y'all all, but it's more than that. Like I said, I'm eternally bonded. And I already told you what love really means. All right? That's why you have all these people saying they love each other, but they fall out. No, I'm eternally bonded to y'all. My word is my bond, and it's eternal. Is there eternal light that burns? Is evil eternal? No. Evil is a surface substructs of a construct that is destructive. It is a place that comes from a darkness. It doesn't illuminate from light. It is a place where people shut down everything based on sensory deprivation to which you're all living right now. And sensory... How you say it? De-evolution. Okay? I appreciate all of you. I don't really hate nobody. I don't have no time for it. Even the enemy, I really, I, I hate some things they do. I don't hate them motherfuckers. I just don't, it's not, it's not our common tea. I go find a rock somewhere and do all that shit. These motherfuckers are so busy wanting to stay perverted. And we the type of people, we wouldn't even see them. That's the problem before. We didn't hunt these motherfuckers down and destroy them. And they probably feel like, oh man, if they, no, motherfucker. Leave our shit alone. This land was never meant for you. And some of them probably sitting there going, oh, he doesn't know that we was every... Oh, bitch, please. You motherfuckers wanted any everything or nothing. All right? You know, they, they believe in their own delusions. Trust me. Strong ones, too. They don't get how the curses work and what those things are doing to them for the ones who are still around. If they didn't occupy them. Anyway, let me run and get me a little bit of chicken. I don't know if I should eat that. I probably should just chill out and just have a smoothie. Maybe I'll just have a smoothie. Anyway, appreciate y'all. And no, no, no. I, I see the time. Let me go and come back and we'll, we'll go ahead and read Exposing Expositions and Janine Helen. Much left. Okay? <laughs> appreciate y'all. Appreciate the donations. My beloved sisters and my brothers. I don't know if Snoop, I think, I don't know. She's off work, so. Hey, baby girl. You know it's nothing but our hearts. It's not our nature to genocide people. We are the, exactly, 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 exactly. And everyone just be happy and live content. We have all this music in us, all this design, creation. And they just want to get enough to subjugate and subdue and subvert while they were digging up old world technology. And now they done fucked up. See y'all later.